Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be doing Rengoku from Kimitsu no Yaiba, Demon Slayer, um, particularly Mugen Train. So it's first his fight versus um, Akaza, the Upper Moon, uh, Upper Moon Two, right? Yeah. So landscape orientation page. Use your pencil and eraser. Take your time. Take it slow. Center point of my page is about here. That's probably, because he's got so much hair, I'd say, that's probably where his, like, forehead is going to be. All right, so, so center point here on my page, approximately. And then we're going to come down from that, and we're going to start with his closed eye. So just here, curves across, right? So it's going to, and it's kind of, kind of big sort of eyelashes kind of curving across this way. It's kind of a wavy line out to kind of a spike at the end right so we got to thicken this up and particularly on this end we're going to thicken it up so it goes back down into here right this is dark okay. so his eyebrow then is just above that so that is going to go, it's going to stay here, right? And this is going to go spiking sort of this direction up, like that, okay? So he's got real big spiky eyebrows, and then this comes back down to there, and then goes up again, double spike. And then we will bring this down to the point down here. Okay, down to there. I'm not quite sure if they're black or brown. So I'll just, I'll leave them like that just in case. So then the other eye, right? So we got, we got like some frown lines just here, right? And then just beside them, the next eyebrow is going to start, right? So we got like another frown line just going up here. And the eyebrow is behind that, but because we're in three quarter pose, the eyebrow is very vertical, right? This one's horizontal, kind of normal, but his face is turned away from us, right? And to, to create that sort of illusion, what you got to do is go up, right? real long, that way. Right. And then the eyebrow will come down here. I'm going to spike it up again. So you're just creating the illusion that his face is turned away from us. Right. So see how high up? I know that looks weird, but that's what you want to do. Okay. So real high up from this one. And then his eye underneath that, right? So this eye is open. So it's gonna go curve it, go real close to his eyebrow, and it's going vertical as well. Top eyelid. Like that. Okay, so horizontal and kind of diagonal. And you've got like these points at the end of his his eyelashes as well. So this will come back down around back into here back into his tear duct and you can his tear duct is actually drawn in which is surprising so like just a little bump in there and then you can go about thickening up some of his eyelid lines okay right so his iris then and his pupil. So his iris is kind of colored red and yellow and his pupil is white. So we're gonna just circle just in here in the corner. Doesn't have to be a perfect circle. In Demon Slayer, they're kind of bumpy anyway. Okay. And then his pupil in the middle. Okay. 
okay and he is like a red colored um section around that so it's yellow red and white but i'll just leave it like that because it's done with like red color and yellow and stuff then like kind of around his eye we've got like stress lines you know he's like flexing really hard he's flexing <laughs> i don't mean flexing like but he's like you know he's stressing out he's fight of his life and you know he's got like all these lines around frown lines and stuff So then his nose, so we just go out from here. And then pretty simple, it goes pointy back in. Then we have a bit of a curve on the bottom and this is like a shadow, kind of a thicker line. And then we got like these lines coming down the nose here. And a nostril, just there. And his mouth, so we got like top lip, right? So two lines basically, smaller line first, because this side of his mouth is turned away from us, it appears to be smaller, okay? So, a bit of perspective, so down to his lip and then across, like so, and then it's gonna come down around the back, down into here, and then we'll go back up. and then we can see like kind of teeth sort of areas just there and he's gritting his teeth really hard and then we can keep see like just the side of his mouth just there and kind of a line for teeth coming across like so now so we can't see his chin okay so yeah we'll draw in um, his shoulder first. I think we got to do that before we figure out. So we got like a bump here. Okay, a couple of bumps coming across. So this is like his, his cloak. So it's going to go across that way and then up this way. All right. So the side of his face goes into that. So it like starts here. See? And his chin is like in under here. And like where his chin would be, so like his, his like eye to nose, say, level, is about the same as where his chin would be. So like eye to nose is about the same as nose to chin. See that? So the nose is about halfway between this eye and the chin. So that's the proportion you're trying to work with, okay? So try your best. And this curves around. Side of his face. We're going right up beside his eye now, lumping it in, and then it kind of sticks out for his for his brow a little bit here. And like Demon Slayer can have sort of a thicker line on the edge of a character sometimes, and then his brow comes up around to here. So quite a round sort of face. And then his hairline. So we'll go spiking. Like this, he's real sort of fiery look to him. So, and this is like the middle line for his face. So the, there's a big spike right in the center. And then this will come across. Like so. And it started to come down the side of his face then. And so Rengo Q has uh, like really long sideburns. So like hair that sticks down like the side of his face, right? So it like comes down across underneath his eye, right? So like down to here, kind of a spike coming across his face, down into there, and then another one coming down towards his mouth. 
and then this comes down side of his face here right and then it'll come out the other side and go up this way and then there might be like some texture lines and stuff inside here like so uh, and it's like red and orange and yellow and all different shades and stuff inside but we can't really draw that in with black right so then we have like a whole layer of hair like three layers of hair actually so there's no easy way to do it you just got to draw in so spiking each one spiking around and we're going to go up to like a spike in the middle of his head so it's like here all right so here this is like a part in his hair all right so two kind of stick up here and then they go that way and then back down this way so no easy way to do it just trying to add them as best I can and not mess up but I'll probably mess up but there's no there's no problem there's no mistakes just happy accidents isn't that right let me keep going hair spike there was in that way and then another one here like so there and yeah and then we then we go the other way so these kind of curving spiking lines kind of just sticking out and they have some texture lines every now and then And then it starts to come down for another long piece coming down the side of his head. So this this kind of thing coming down there. This eventually goes in behind his shoulder down here somewhere. Yeah, and his shoulder kind of so it kind of bumps across, so it's gonna got like his cape comes down. So this is like the white part of his cape and then his shoulder like bumps across here there's lots of bumps and folds because his elbow is like crunched up you know so like his elbow and then it comes up to his arm here But we'll finish his hair first before we get into all that stuff because the hair is hella complicated. So try your best. So we'll do another curve line there, here. see some of his ear in here we can curves around that's there Oops. 
into okay right so then now we have another layer of hair spikes so This is the worst thing about drawing Ringo Cube. The man's hair is crazy. I don't know how they animate it. It's mad. Oh, did I go too far? One. I could have. Back the way. Yeah. Another one here. Spiking up like so. And. There, there, like so. And this is like the middle line again, right? So, like the middle line for his head. Going down this way. There's like a couple more that stick up here in the middle. And some texture lines and stuff. Keep going. Just keep going. Don't stop. Okay. Not bad. And believe it or not, there's more hair. There's another layer of hair. He's got like long hair at the back. Right, so just up here. It goes up and around up to here. Cut your hair, Ringo Q. It's biking like so. This. And then we got like a long piece here, curves back down. So this is definitely the part of him that will take you the longest to do, no doubt about it. We're gonna bring this all the way down back into here, okay? Well, we're gonna try. <laughs> back in, down, into there. Another one here. I'll have to do this is the best I can do anyway. So. Is that it? Please be it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, right. <laughs> right, we're gonna do like his cape. Okay, so so from what I can see, so it goes so it goes like up. this way and then we have another line where we go 
like so. And then another line, forward line that'll go up kind of underneath this hair here. And then it'll go around towards the back. And another forward line coming up around into here. And there. And then the opposite side is like underneath his hair, just here. And he has some flame sort of like hooks. Sticking off here. Something here as well. They're like red. And like the side of his body. So, so like here. Side of his body there. So side of his body here. And we got like a belt or something that comes across. Like right underneath here. How far does it go? It goes just like underneath his arm, somewhere like here. And yeah, so then that's his arm, and then like the underneath of his arm goes across his body this way and we can see like a button there and we can see like various bumps and things for his back and stuff sticking out here but this in general comes across his body that way and we can see like some of his sword so it's kind of it's like in underneath this belt so the belt just some details on the belt so like some lines like this and you know, some buckles sort of lines and things. Nothing major and then like his sword, so the hilt of it and then it goes like back this way. Just back off here. And then the top of it, just around like so. And where the sword goes in, just here, like this, and then it'll go. And then I'm just using a ruler for this part just to kind of keep it a bit straight. And then it kind of goes back this way. And there is some like detail on it, so. This kind of thing, so we got the line going that way, line going that way, and then it eventually so crisscross sort of the lines coming across. this and then each of these boxes has more sort of lines in it and then yeah like this kind of thing texture texture inside do 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 basically like that so right okay so da, 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 his arm right so it goes this way come up like 
this straight up and then we go down and around so we come back down this way down to there and then we got like black sleeve part here which kind of comes straight down then here Yeah, so that's black, and then we got like some folds and things coming around, and then his elbow comes down across his body. Back up into there. And then we got like a line for his clothing or something just here. So, and then there's like various fold lines and things. So, come down like so, another one there, another one there, there, down there. I think, his, I think his arm should be actually down a bit lower. So we'll go, we'll go down lower. I think his elbow is, that looks a bit wrong there. So, we'll just bring it down this way. I think that's better. I'll just erase this line here. Yeah, <laughs> his arm is way too small. Oops. Yeah, so that arm was was really small. Sorry about that. So like, it goes down much further than that. And kind of just adding some more sort of fold lines to his clothing. that right so it says his hand that's holding his blade so the two hands right so we got like his wrist sticks up here and sticks up on this side and then it kind of bumps around for the palm of his hands just here and then this bumps around for his thumb Like so. And then we got some more. Another line there. And then it curves up and around for knuckles. So we got like four knuckles. They're kind of bumpy knuckles. Like so. And this comes up and around for another knuckle. And another one here. And then yeah, the last one, there. And then this has like knuckle lines and stuff on it, there. And then another one here. Looks like sort of anatomy kind of lines like this. Kind of going, just going up to the thumb. Something like that. So, so the sword then comes across to another hand up here, right? So, I guess we'll do the other hand first. So the other hand, yeah. So we'll do we'll do the line that joins them. So we go. Cross like so, right? And then we have top of his knuckles and each finger. So one, two, three, and one more, four, right? Four lines bumping like that and then we got a thumb that comes across them so the thumb like comes across here this will stick out down and up around to there and then we got like the palm of his hand goes back into there 
the fold line under his thumb and his thumb knuckle just around here. And then we got like fingers, so like a little finger, like so, and then underneath there, comes around there, and then this one goes into the palm of his hand, up into there, down like so, fingernails. Another fingernail in here. Ba, ba, ba. And right, so then like the bottom part of that sword then will go across this way. Into like the palm of his hand here. And it comes out down here. certain sort of shapes and stuff along the bottom and then lines along the handle like that And I think we can see like some of his wrist and or hand here. So if like it comes in this way. And then I think his sleeve comes in there. And then the white edge of it comes down around into there. And then, so that means, so that's where his, his hand is going, his elbow sticks out kind of here. For that arm. And that arm comes back in somewhere here and goes up. Somewhere up there. It's all dark black inside there anyway. Can't really see, it's mostly shadow. So then, um, this end of his sword comes down into his knuckle here. We've got some more sort of shapes and stuff on it, random kind of. And then we have a flame coming out from this. So it goes up. Down into here, various flame sort of spikes sticking off. Down around like so, and back in underneath, and there. And it's kind of like 3D, so you got to give it like an edge line. So like, just coming around here. So this curves around here like that and then bring it down like so and then he's got like red coming around another sort of red flame and I think it's got yellow inside as well but, but that's coloring anyway so then more flame so uh, this is complicated I said this is a long drawn I don't know how long I've been drawn for, but uh, we're nearly there. So, more sort of flame coming out and going up this way. And coming out here, like so. Lots of yellow and orange and red and stuff coming out around there and then if you want you can add like 
flames coming out from like, you know, out and around sort of like, you know, this kind of stuff. Kind of flowing out from the fire up here, lots of it. But it's totally kind of up to you what you want to do. Like there's some coming over his cloak and stuff. Um, like over his body as well. Let's see, so like, you know. So this is like a flame. Kind of like liquid. Looks like kind of lava or something. yellow inside and yeah like so like another one coming off here like a big liquid flame that and of course if you draw over any of his clothing or anything like that you can just erase those lines or color over them if you're drawing with pencil which I recommend let's see I think we can actually see some of his cloak sticking out like flowing sort of out here Sure, not sure if it is cloak, but I'm gonna draw it in anyway. Mm. But I think that's everything. How to draw Rengo Q from Kimitsu no Yaiba Mugen Train. So I know that's like a very complicated drawing. That was I'm tired now. <laughs> that took it out of me. Uh, but I hope it helps someone out there. And uh as usual, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.